Okay, our goal is to help to give a feedback to this work sample by answering the questions that are given below. So the expression is a trigonometric uh, function, uh, which is written in terms of x, and we expected to answer question A, which says use the power reducing formulas to write the function in terms of cosine to the first power. Show all steps and justify your reasoning. And the second question says determine another way to rewrite the original function and show why they are equivalent. And then the third one says rewrite the original function as a perfect square trinomial by adding a term to it and rewrite the function as a perfect square trinomial. Show all steps. So um, the first thing we need to do um, is to um, write our solution and then we write down the function that is given to us, which is um, f of x is equal to sine raised to power 4x plus cos raised to power 4x. And we can uh, certainly rewrite it in terms of power of 2 um, by writing sine squared x raised to power 2 plus cos squared x raised to power Two. So at this point, we can directly we can directly use the uh, power reducing formula. So according to power reducing formula, so we say using power reducing formula using power reducing formula. So we need to write sine x sine square raised to power x into uh, power reducing formula. So using power reducing formula, we have that sine mm -hmm. squared x um, is equal to one minus cos two x divided by two. And we also know that cos squared x is also equal to one plus cos 2x divided by 2. So at this point, we can um, substitute these two expressions into this function. So if we do that, we are going to obtain that the function of x, f of x, is going to be 1 minus cos 2x divide by 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 plus cos 2x divide by 2 also raised to power 2. So at this point, um, we can rewrite it just to have the denominator to be power uh, to be uh, 4 so to enable us factor it out factor it out. So we can write uh, this as um, equal to 1 over 4 multiplied by 1 minus cos 2x raised to the power 2 plus 1 over 4 bracket 1 plus cos 2x raised to the power 2. So by so doing, we can easily factor out uh, 1 over 4. So we can just say 1 over 4, bigger uh, bracket, and then 1 minus cos 2x raised to power 2 plus 1 plus cos 2x raised to power 2. So by so doing, we can expand, we can expand this as well as this using using distributive property. So let's do that. So let us say that, um, of course, this is, um, of course, this is um, still f of x that we are trying to evaluate. So now we know that, we know that um, one minus cos squared x raised to power two is equal to 
um, 1 minus cos 2x, this is not squared, this is 2. So 1 minus cos 2x bracket, another 1 minus cos 2x. So we can just uh, use a distributive property. Use distributive property to expand this. So let's go. So using distributive property, we have to multiply through by one and then through by um, cos 2x, multiply through by them. And if we do that, if we perform that operation, we are going to obtain that one times one is one minus cos 2x, then negative cos 2x times one is also negative cos 2x. And this other one is going to give us, this other one is going to, um, is going to give us negative times negative is uh, positive, obviously. And this is going to give us cos squared 2x. Okay, so if we keep simplifying, we are going to obtain 1 minus 2 cos 2x plus cos squared 2x plus cos squared 2x. So that's what we are going to obtain. So we will repeat the same operation for, we can call this equation 3. And then we repeat the same operation by expanding this one. So, so we can say also, also, one plus cos two x raised to power two can be expanded as one plus cos two x bracket one plus cos 2x. So by so doing, we will also use a distributive property such that we multiply through by one and we also multiply by cos 2x. So let's perform that operation and we are going to obtain um, one times one is one, one times cos 2x is plus cos 2x cos 2x times 1 is plus cos 2x. Cos 2x times cos 2x will give us cos, um, cos squared 2x. So we can call this equation 4. And then, and then we will go ahead and substitute equation, um, equation 4 three and four into equation two. This is equation two right here. So we can say substitute equation three and four into equation two. So substitute, substitute equation three and four into two. So if we do so, we are going to obtain that um, f of x is, so, f of x is going to be 1 over 4, open the parentheses, and put in the number of equation 3. So which is uh, basically um, 1 minus 2 cos 2x plus cos squared 2x, then plus so we will now plug in equation four. Equation four is going to give us one plus two x, no, not two x, one plus two uh, cos squared two x, then also plus cos squared two x. So we close the parentheses. And then we will collect like terms. We will collect like terms. So collecting like terms is going to uh, one plus one is obviously two. One over four, still open the parentheses. 
one plus one is two, then two cos two x plus two cos, um, this is a uh, two cos two x. This one is two cos two x right here. So two cos two x plus two cos two, negative two plus, negative two cos two x plus two cos two x will cross out. You know, it will cancel basically. So this is, um, let me correct this, sorry. Two cos uh, two x. So this will cross out from this. And of course, this is plus right here. So, and this is going to give us two plus two cos squared two x. All right. So if that is the case, then we can factor out two. We can factor out two out of this. This is still our f of x. F of x is equal to two over four bracket one plus cos two two x. So this is going to give us this is going to give us um close the parentheses anyway. So this is going to give us um equal to one over two bracket one plus one plus cos 4x over 2, and then close the parentheses. So that's the function. That's the function. All right, so now let's look at the second problem. So the second problem says that let's, uh, let's pull down, let's pull it down. Okay, so the second problem says, let's make it a little bit bolder. The second problem says determine another way of rewriting the original function and show why they are equivalent. So says determine another way of rewriting the original function and show why they are equivalent. Okay. So now the um b the original function can be rewritten just by focusing on either sine raised to power four x or we focus on cos raised to the power four x. Okay, so but let's try and focus on sine raised to the power four x and just use it to rewrite the expression. So we can say if this is the original function, if this is the original function f of x is equal to sine raised to the power four x plus cos raised to the power four x. So we can just focus on on this uh, by writing the following sine raised to power four x is also equivalent to saying that sine squared um, x raised to power two. And then we will use the same power of uh, um, power reducing formula to rewrite sine square x. So if we do that, we are going to get that one minus cos 2x divided by 2 raised to power 2. So we are going to get that. OK, so the general function still remains. You can call it equation 1. Now, we will just keep, we will just keep um, evaluating this sine um, raised to power 4x. So how do we do that? So we can use them. Um, uh, we can rewrite this by saying it is equivalent to 1 minus cos 2x, then 1 minus cos 2x, all divide by 2, divide by 2. So by so doing, we can just factor out um, 2 times 2 is 4. So we can just factor out 1 over 4. So we just write 1 over 4 bracket then we perform the distributive function inside uh, which will give us one times one is one one times cos two x is negative cos two x um negative times 
negative cos 2x times 1 will give us another negative cos 2x. Negative times negative will give us positive, well, positive. Cos 2x times cos 2x will give us cos squared 2x. And then we just continue to simplify uh, the inside. And that is going to give us, that's going to give us 1 over 4 bracket 1 uh, ne uh, minus 2 um, cos 2x plus cos squared 2x. So that's going to essentially be, that's going to be essentially be um, sine 4 raised to power x. So on the other hand, on the other hand, so you can call this equation 2. On the other hand, cos 4 raised to power x is also equal to cos squared x raised to power 2. You can call it equation 3. So now, if we substitute equation 3 into equation 2, if we substitute equation 3 into equation 2, um, so let's just write it down. Substitute, substitute equation 2 and 3 into 1, so into 1, then we obtain uh, that our f of x is equal to, uh, f of x is equal to 1 over 4 bracket 1 minus 2 cos 2x plus cos squared 2x, then plus cos squared x raised to power 2. So the first and the second, this is um, equation 4, basically, is equivalent to equation 1. So this is another way of writing equation 1. Now, let's consider the third question, which says, the third question says, rewrite the original function as a perfect square trinomial by adding a term to it. So to write the function as a perfect square. So if we have to write as a perfect square, so let us generally, so this is T. So let us generally um, write an expression for a perfect square. An expression for a perfect square. If you have a perfect square of two terms, a perfect square of two terms can be written as a plus b raised to power 2. And if you expand this, you are going to obtain a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. In other words, we can write it the other way around. We can also write it as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And that is still equal to a plus b whole squared. So now considering the expression that is given to us, which is uh, the general function is f of x equal to sine raised to power 4 x plus cos raised to power 4 x. So, so that is going to give us sine squared x raised to power 2 plus cos squared x raised to power 2. In other words, we can just um, we can just say that we can just um, say that A represents this and B represents this. So for us to make this a, a perfect square, we can we can just write that the perfect square is going to be um, sine squared x raised to power 2 plus cos squared x raised to power 2, then plus 2 bracket sine squared x cos squared x. And that is a perfect square 
that represents a perfect square that represents sine squared x plus cos squared x raised to power two. 